we could have a uh, feels like we could have some fireworks. Like in the short term, I feel like things are getting a little interesting. Well, Guys, the boogeyman is finally here. So if you are home counting your Doge coins or watching Bloomberg, CNBC, this is probably what's crossing the headlines. Everyone's talking about inflation these days. Everyone seems to agree we're going to get it. I guess the question here is whether it ends up being transitory, whether the Fed is playing with fire. And what is this boogeyman that I'm talking about that's causing prices in homes, cars, durable goods, host of other things to go up and at the same time pushing all of your tech stocks and your portfolio down and every time there's a word of interest rates, it's even pushing it further down. The tech heavy NASDAQ also sliding two and a half percent. Most of this because of inflation accelerated at its fastest pace we've seen since 2008. You're right. It is inflation. And I want to spend a part of this video talking about inflation, what we have been seeing and what that really means for your wallet. It's really important. So spend the next 10 minutes with me and I am going to share some interesting facts with you on what you can do if you are looking to buy a home this year, if you're looking to buy a car, or what you should do in terms of reorganizing your stock portfolio so that you can take advantage of the rising interest rates and also invest for the future. Let's get into this video and a quick thank you to our subscribers and for the folks that are watching this for the first time. We're here to build something great and these are the economic facts that you need to know. By the time you are done watching this video, I want you to have a very good handle on what you should do if you are looking to buy a home this year, if you're looking to wait, watching interest rates, if you're also in the market for a used car, new car, and also how you can possibly put your money, your hard earned money to work for you so that you are not watching red, red, red in tech stocks, but looking to make some money in the stock market. I want to share some of these interesting facts with you so you know exactly what to do with the rising interest rates and the inflation that we are seeing. So let's take a step back and see what is inflation. If you look up the word inflation, this is what you're going to see. In economic terms, it is a general increase in prices and the fall of purchasing power. And I am going to start with the stock market and why that is so important in terms of the growth stocks, the high flyers that we've been investing into and that's been really, really good for our portfolio and why all of a sudden it is dropping off the cliff. When there's inflation, the government and monetary authority, and that is in this case, the Federal Reserve Bank will have to raise interest rates. When Keep the economy from overheating. When interest rates rise, that means the future earning of these growth stocks will depreciate. Most of their earnings are five, 10 years into the future. And when interest rates rise, all that earning, all that income, all the money that they're going to make in the future that's being discounted back into the present time to determine cash flow and the price of the stock, that is going to be less. And that's why you're seeing this big drop in a lot of tech stocks. The other reason is also because of this thing called rotation. It's not dance. Rotation is just when money is being moved out of one area, one sector, in this case technology, and into another area. So you may be asking, what is a good place for me to put my money right now with expected high inflation and increase in interest rates? Remember that video I did about the power of REITs? Real estate is a good place to put your money. Invest in REITs because you're still getting a dividend and most of these landlords that are renting out space with their properties also have contracts that stipulate a rise in prices with the increase in inflation. So you're protected. Go back and take a look at that REIT video because it is going to help you with some of the investment choices. If you are investing for the long haul, you're investing for 5, 10, 15 years from now, Take this as an opportunity to buy on the red. Pick up good companies 
while it's falling and you are going to be doing something that's a little different, a contrarian method so that you're not following the herd. No, I'm not hitting on you Dogecoin and all the millionaires I know that became Dogecoin millionaires. I am just telling you that you have to look for value and when things are falling, it is a great opportunity to take advantage of value. The other thing I want to talk about about this inflation that is going to be all over the news that you'll see. 6% year over year, but everyone says, oh, that's going to be oh, the base effect. The base effect. So, and 2.3% of you strip out food and energy month over month, only about 0.2%. We're not really sure if this number is exactly correct. The reason is the way they calculate this is they go back one year. One year ago, we were in the heart of the pandemic. And when we were in the heart of the pandemic, the base for which we are calculating from is slightly lower. So that's why when you hear Jerome Powell talk about inflation and the pressures, you're looking at some of the sound bites on TV when the Federal Reserve Chairman is being asked, what does he think about inflation and the need to raise interest rates? He's going to say it's transitory. The question here is whether it ends up being transitory, whether it ends up being short term. And that this inflation pressure that we see may be smoothed out later part of the year. But you did just inject $1.9 trillion as a part of the COVID relief plan. So there's a lot of money chasing goods. And that's going to get to my next topic about homes and cars and other things that you will see. I in particular love chicken wings. So what you see in this case is the price of chicken has gone up. If you're looking for chicken wings going back a year, chicken wing prices was about $1.29, $1.49 a pound. Right now, if you are lucky, you will find chicken wing prices somewhere between $2.69 to $2.99 a pound. And that is because there is a lot of money chasing very few goods. And how does that relate to your home price? Because a lot of folks have reached out to me about, I'm looking to buy a home. I just recently wrote 20 contracts for a customer in order to get a home. And I'm telling you this, the reason is there is not enough inventory. There is almost no resale supply in a lot of these markets where home builders are, are active not just in homes but also in cars but I'm gonna talk a little more about homes first in terms of homes what you will see is that there is not enough existing resale inventory and you will see prices continue to rise for the next probably eight to ten months for the rest of this year in early 2022 now at the same time interest rates are gonna rise a little bit so by that time what you'll see is that there's going to be a little more catch-up in terms of inventory. But over time, and, and some of this is rates and inflation that is looking like it's gonna to start to accelerate and rates creeping up, we do have home prices moderating. We do have the rate of new home sales moderating, new home construction moderating. I mean, I so for the folks that are out there who are looking to buy a home, it may be a good idea to just hold off a little bit to see how interest rates play out when the moratorium also plays itself out and that there's a little more inventory. For those that are buying those new constructions, what you have seen is probably a thirty dollars to $45,000 increase, and it comes from the rise in timber prices. That is another good area to potentially invest in if you are looking to buy investments, stocks, lumber prices, commodities. Those are areas that can help you and shield you from high inflation. So always think about diversification. But I digress. Let's get back to home prices. Home prices will continue to rise for the rest of this year and it's going to be a very interesting year for 2021 and you'll probably see some price stability in early 2022 if you are really looking to buy that home but you are going to be looking at higher interest rates but you are going to have a little more options in terms of picking out that home. Now the last thing for those that's reached out to me about buying a car, a new car, used car, I wanna address that. There's no way around it. There's not enough cars that's being rolled off the manufacturing assembly lines. And the reason is, let's go back to the chips. I talked about the chip shortage going back two to three months ago in one of the videos. There is a larger ramification, a bad ramification in this case, because cars are getting ever more 
smart, sophisticated, and they need chips. And the chips are in short supply. So what does Ford, GM, and a lot of other manufacturers have to do? They have to shut the assembly lines. And because they are stopping these assembly lines, whatever chips they have left, they are moving these chips to the products, to the cars, that are giving them the highest profit margins. So you may be in luck if you're looking for a big SUV, a pickup truck, full size, those may still be around, but you are going to be paying full asking price. And the other thing that I wanna go back to in this inflation index that just came out was about the price of used cars. They are going up, and that is because there's not enough going around. One thing I do wanna give you a tip on, here is for those that are looking to buy a good used car. I've done a video on that. If you are looking for a used car, try to buy this vehicle from an owner directly. There's options like Carvana, CarMax, and also a few others out there like Room. But I think your best bet if you're trying to save a few bucks is to go directly to owners. Look on your Craigslist, go to Facebook, use social media, put out the word that you're looking for a car, specific model, how much you're willing to pay, and you are gonna have to pay a little bit more than what it was normally, but put the word out because you may have a better chance in negotiating with an owner directly and paying cash, in this case, than going through a retailer. That's my tip for you if you're looking to buy a used car, and I hope this helps. But inflation is something that we have to keep an eye on because prices are going up and it is going to affect your wallet. In the short term, you are going to be paying more. All of us are gonna be paying more for goods and services until supply catches up. I hope some of these tips that I've shared with you will help you understand what is happening with interest rates and inflation in the course of the next month or two as you're making your decisions, whether it's buying a home, a car, and investing your hard-earned money. Well, with that said, I hope you guys have a good one. And if you like this video, please give me a thumbs up and consider subscribing and helping me grow this channel. I would really appreciate that. And until the next time, I wish you happy hustling towards your dreams and take care.